I'm Dave Baker. We're here at Meltdown Comics in Hollywood, California. Today we're going to talk about some things that happen in the comic book industry. We're going to talk about some Marvel news, some DC logo news, some Darwin Cook remembrances, and I'm going to give you my review of Future Quest number one. Stay tuned to the end of the video and you'll learn how to win this guy, Scott Summers, courtesy of Fat Collectibles. First up this week, we're going to talk about some Marvel Comics news. Marvel's canceled their Star Wars miniseries, Rogue One, colon, a Star Wars story. It's going to be a three-issue, or it was going to be a three-issue miniseries, and then a one-shot that was going to tie into the movie that's going to be released. Uh, rumor has it that the book's been canceled primarily because Marvel and Disney aren't seeing eye-to-eye -eye on where their continuity is going to line up. I guess Disney's kind of unhappy with how the... C-3PO miniseries that they released earlier this year went where Marvel revealed why C-3PO has a red arm. Um, we'll see if that's actually the reason or if it's just going to be delayed till after the movie comes out so they can make sure that everything's synced up because um, I know a lot of those licensed properties don't have all the access that they need to the actual said property. So we'll see what happens. Next up this week we're going to talk about DC. DC has just announced that they're going to be premiering a new logo for their company that's going to premiere on DC Universe Rebirth, Giant Size Special Number 1. Uh, the book's written by Jeff Johns and drawn by Phil Jimenez, um, Ethan N. Skyver, Ivan Reese, and a bunch of other cool people, uh, Gary Frank. Um, but the, the logo is kind of an old school, as you can see. Old school logo harkens back to their previous history as a company as opposed to the terrible yogurt peel logo that they just got away from, thank God. Finally, on the news front, I'm saddened to say that the comic book industry has lost one of its giants. Darwin Cook, the writer and illustrator of such amazing books as Justice League The New Frontier, uh, Batman Ego, Catwoman, Selena's Big Score, uh, Jonah Hex, uh, the intro credits designer of Batman Beyond, storyboard artist on Batman the Animated Series, New Adventures of Batman, Superman, um, the Parker graphic novels, Jonah Hex, a million fucking comics that you should read uh, lost his battle with cancer and is no longer with us. And I, uh, I don't know, this weekend's been real rough for me. I don't know why it's affected me so much because I don't actually, I never met the man. But uh, his comics have meant a lot to me and uh, I would encourage everybody to go out and read one of his books because um, that's the best way that you can remember somebody that worked in the comic book industry is by reading their comics. Finally this week, we're going to go off on a high note and we're going to talk about the new Hanna-Barbera book published by DC, Future Quest. I'm a huge Johnny Quest fan. I love the cartoon. I even love the 90s Real Adventures show. Uh, I own all the comics that Kamiko published, aside from Jezebel Jade number three. So if anyone out there wants to send me a Jezebel Jade number three, hey, what's up? I'll be your best friend. Um, I was so excited going into this book. My hopes were sky high, and I, I'm not disappointed. This book is amazing. Evan, Doc Shainer, uh, he was born to draw this book. Like, it's pitch perfect. It takes place in present day, but everybody looks like they did in the cartoon, and it feels very throwback, retro-futurist stuff. Like, they don't have Johnny wearing, like, you know, a, a Bulls jersey or something. They have him in his standard black turtleneck and, and jeans. I it, Jeff Parker's writing is really great, too. It's very pitch-tone perfect for the... the the feel of those old shows, but at the same time making it timeless and not super weird and kind of racist like some of the episodes of the original show were. <laughs> Looking at you, Pygmies episode. Um, yeah, it's it's a really, really great, great book. Uh, it sees the Quest family at the center of the this phenomena where all these basically fissures in the universe are opening up and things from other dimensions are coming here. And those things happen to be characters from other Hanna-Barbera shows. Uh, so there's like a race against time where Dr. Zinn and Benton Quest are kind of like analyzing all these things and trying to basically collect these objects, people from other dimensions and stuff. The, the Herculoids are there, Space Ghost is there, uh, and it's, it's super, super cool. Uh, it's a really great first issue. It gives you a good grasp on who the characters are and sets up the story going forward and ends on a really fun cliffhanger. Uh, also, Steve Rood does 10 pages in the middle of this book, uh, which is really fun because Steve Rood worked on the old uh, Kamiko book, so it's cool to see them bring him onto this title. I, I can't recommend the book high enough. Please 
go out and support Future Quest because it needs your money because it's fucking awesome and I want them to keep publishing it. I'm Dave Baker. That's been the comic book news this week. If you'd like to find comics that I write, you can find them at specterisland.bigcartel.com or theactionhospital.com. If you'd like to come meet me, I'm going to be at the Ontario Meet and Zine uh, this weekend as well as Zine Queens in Long Beach. Feel free to stop by and you can find a whole bunch of cool zines and comics made by queer and trans uh, individuals and myself selling comics. Uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, if you'd like to win this guy, please comment your favorite Cyclops costume below. Um, and as always, please like, share, comment, do all that good stuff so we can keep having this meaningful dialogue about comics.